Well, the alleged victim got choked up today as he took the stand, saying that he tried to push those memories behind him, but he says they really never went away. He says that he never told anyone and that he was confused. He even continued to go for lessons after the abuse had ended. But he says one day, not too long ago, when he was driving by the Goodwin home, something triggered him to say something. At around his 11th birthday, he was sexually assaulted for the first time. This man did it again and again. A 75-year-old man who taught piano in his Atkinson home for decades accused of sexually assaulting one of his students. The allegations against John Goodwin date back 13 years, but it wasn't until 2013 that this now grown man came forward. Why didn't you tell someone when you were that young? The defense feels his story has holes, the allegations not lining up with records of when he took lessons. They say he wasn't even there during the summers he claimed some of the assaults took place, and that it was John's wife teaching him during this time period, not Mr. Goodwin. Despite not being clear on specific dates or how often the assaults took place, the 24-year-old says it did happen and says Goodwin made him feel awkward years earlier, even before it turned sexual. I started getting a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, John was getting a little more touchy-feely, liked to give a lot of hugs and things like that. He may have rubbed his uh, back, he may have given him a massage. Uh, that's not a crime. It's not a crime. It's innocent contact. Uh, whether it's appropriate, it's a different story. Now, there is an audio recording of a phone conversation that was recorded by police between Mr. Goodwin and the alleged victim. And in it, the prosecution says that Mr. Goodwin does apologize to this person. However, that has not yet been played in open court. We understand that may happen. Reporting live in Brentwood, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.